Welcome to Home Biz Tax Talk. My name is Lysandra Everett. I am the Home Biz Tax Lady, where I help home business owners win the tax game. Home Biz Tax Talk airs Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock-ish. And when you tune into my show, you're going to hear about topics that are important to the home business community. So today... We are speaking to our owner operators um, and mainly because I've been getting the question about what is the best business structure for owner operators. And let me start by saying that there is no one right answer across the board. There are a lot of things to consider, but the first thing that you need to consider is the amount of income that you have. Um, you know, the difference between going from a single member LLC to an S Corp or a C Corp is really going to depend on the amount of income that you're making, not just income, but where you are profit wise, right? Because your, your, the amount of tax you're going to pay is going to be based on the profit that you have. So, um, you know, a lot of times, you know, people are looking at going to a different business structure because they're trying to save on self-employment tax. When the compliance, uh, the cost of compliance may not outweigh the, you know, the self-employment tax. So, you know, I've seen where, you know, I've had owner operators come to me that they're S corps and have entirely no business being S corps because, you know, to be an S corp, you have to be an employee of you are your own employee, right? So you're going to have to have your bookkeeping and payroll in place. And if you don't, if you can't outsource those things, then you're not ready to become an S Corp because as an owner operator, you need to be focused on driving a truck and making money for your business versus trying to do all this administrative stuff. So I caution any owner operator, if you at, at the bare minimum, if you can't afford to outsource your bookkeeping, then you need to stay at a single member LLC until you do because bookkeeping is definitely not where you want to cheap out on because you need to be able to track your income, your expenses, your if the taxes and all those things in order for you to be successful and really know what kind of money you're making. The compliance costs for other types of business structures, S Corps, C Corps, and even partnerships, those are more stringent than a single member LLC. So if you can't get your act together as a single member LLC, you need to not consider other business structures until you get that in place. Now, you may be going into business with someone you know, with your, um, you know, as an owner operator, you might be, you might be thinking about becoming a partnership. Well, even before you even get the truck, if you're going into business with someone, you really need to sit down and have some conversations and what, how the business is going to run, who's going to do what, who's putting in what, you know, and if one person wants to get out, how are they going to get out? Okay. If one person says, I don't want to play in the sandbox anymore, what's the getting out process? So, you know, so this is why, you know, I always recommend to people that number one, you definitely sit down and get some advice. You call and talk to an accountant, talk, call and talk to a tax person, call and talk to an attorney. These are three basic people that you need in the financial aspect of your business. See, the, one of the things that I see that is, um, that causes problems in the owner operator community is you're, you know, thinking like a company truck as a company employee versus an owner operator. The thought processes are completely different. You're taking on more responsibility as an owner operator than you do as a, as a company truck. So you have to really change the way that you think about the business because now you are the ones that are making the best financial decisions for your business, not somebody else, right? As a company truck, somebody tells you, hey, you go get this load and you take it here and that's it. As an owner operator, you're making different decisions in the level of profitability you're going to have in your business. So you have to shift that thinking. And in shifting that thinking, it's also about building the right team that's going to help you become more successful as an owner operator. And really, this is, this is just business right? This is, this is just a, this is basic business stuff. So even though I'm speaking directly to owner operators, this is basic business stuff. Like you need to have an attorney, you need to have a bookkeeper, you need to have an accountant. They serve, they serve different functions, but at the bare minimum, you need to have that bookkeeping in order because that is the foundation of everything else. 
If your bookkeeping is out of order, you have no idea what your profitability is. You have no idea what your income is. You have no idea what your expenses are. You have to track these things. Your goal as a, to be a successful owner operator is to boost that, boost that profit margin. Right. You've got to be able to make this money. And so when you're talking about business structure, you have to you have to be able to create the income to build the team that you need. You can't focus on driving a truck, making sure the bookkeeping is done, making sure that if the taxes are filed, making sure, you know, doing all this stuff yourself as when you start thinking like a, a business owner, like, you know, everybody wants to be the CEO. OK, the CEO is not doing the bookkeeping they are calling the uh the bookkeeping department and saying show me the bookkeeping that's what a ceo does they're not actually filing if the taxes they're saying show me that my if the taxes were filed they're not they're not over here trying to file their own taxes they're hiring people and you're sitting there saying okay talk to me about these taxes and as an owner operator in anybody, period, you don't just sit down and sign a tax return. You need to have a working knowledge of what is going into your tax return, knowing what your business deductions are. If it's in your bookkeeping and you don't see it on your taxes, then you need to be asking the questions. Why don't I see this here? And if there is no explanation as to why it's not there, then you need to might need to take your stuff somewhere else. Or if something is there that doesn't make sense to you and nobody can explain why it's there, why it's there you might need to take your stuff somewhere else. So really, it is um, you're, you're having completely different considerations as an owner operator than you did as a company truck. And so your business structure, again, it falls back to bookkeeping knowing your profitability and then once you start to see an increase in profits like you know if you're if you are grossing six figures but you're only profiting you know ten thousand dollars a year that might signal a problem right because you're looking at you like okay i'm making all this money but i'm not keeping any what's the problem so you know, so this is so this is what I'm talking about with business structure. It's not just the gross amount of money that you're making. You need to look at your gross. You also need to look at your profit. Because there's a lot of times, you guys, in business period, there's a lot of times when people, you know, like, oh, I'm making, you know, two hundred thousand dollars a year. But you're only profiting, you know, thirty thousand dollars. There, you know, something in that math. Doesn't add up. Like, how do you get there? So it's not just looking at the gross and thinking, oh, I'm making all this money. How much money are you keeping? The amount of money that you're keeping, that's going to determine whether whether or not you need to shift to a different, um, a different business structure. So there's no one right answer on business structure. There are a lot of things to consider. You know, it's the, the direction of your company. Maybe it is that, you know what, you, you, ha you started out with one truck and now you have five. You know, what kind of business structure do you need then? That may be why you shift business structures, even if it's not the financial part. So you've got to think about where the company is going. You have to think about the, the profitability of the company, the compliance of whatever business structure that there is. Do you have that in place? See, if you put the compliance in place first, making the shift to a different business structure is going to be easy. But there is no one right answer for everybody. For one person, the right, the right answer might be a single member LLC. For someone else, it might be an S Corp. For another person, it might be a C Corp. It just, there's a whole lot of uh, moving parts that you can't go to, you can't watch, binge watch YouTube videos. You can search Google forever until you sit down with someone that is actually analyzing your, your progress over the past couple years. If, if you have to have someone do that for you, you're looking at other income that may be coming into your household. You're looking at deductions. You're, you know, just all sorts of different things that make up the picture for you. Taxes is an individual sport, <laughs> okay? Because it's not one of those things that, you know, just because it's right for Joe doesn't mean it's right for you. So 
Um, so if you've got a question about business structure, I highly recommend that you get you invest in a consult for someone to look at your progress over the past two to three years to look at your your income, your profitability and talk about, you know, this is what business planning, you know, tax planning. And that's what this is. This is looking at your tax picture putting it together and, you know, really trying to forecast where you're going to see what's going to be the best thing for you. Don't be lulled into the fact that just because the corporate tax rate dropped for, um, you know, in the, in the tax reform that a C corp is automatically the right thing for you. Do not be lulled into that and thinking that's the right answer because it's not. Um, one of the things that, you know, and, and the reason this is coming up more and more now is because of the, you know, tax reform. It really hit the owner operator and truck driver community really hard. The difference being we're talking about a company employee versus an owner operator. Company truck drivers lost a lot of um, their deductions and it really hit them in their pocket because what they would normally be able to take as itemized deductions are no longer available. And so now, you know, there are more company drivers that are saying, okay, perhaps it's time for me to switch to become an owner operator and run my own business in order to be able to have those deductions and, you know, pay less in taxes. I totally get that. However, you also need to understand that it's just not as simple as flipping a switch. You are then taking on more responsibility as an owner operator than you are as a company driver. So it's not just one of those things that, you know, you would just do flippantly. You really need to sit down and do the math and talk to somebody. Okay. So I hope that helps you out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Home Biz Tax Talk. Again, we air Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock-ish, and you can come right here to get your questions answered about your home business taxes. All right, have a great day, and I will see you all next time. Bye.